There is no replacement for knowing where we belong in our ancestral blueprints. I've been a psychotherapist since 1992. I have a master's in social work and am a licensed clinical social worker. Um, I've had a private psychotherapy practice for many years, but in 1998, I was introduced to what's called systemic family constellations. So since then, um, the constellation work has been the primary way in which I work with both individuals and groups. I think there's absolutely a relationship between the history of our country and the kind of psychotherapy that we see most commonly in our American culture that focuses on the individual. Our American story promotes the individual. Our American history looks at the value of the individual. There's nothing wrong with this. It's not right or wrong or bad or good. It's just important to see that this is one lens. Other countries, other lands promote more clarity around the, the group experience, the collective, less so the individual. So for those lands, it's a different lens. It's a different task, perhaps. The United States was created out of disconnection from family because of immigration there was a disconnection because of native genocide, because of the colonial experience, native people were disconnected from family. Because of slavery, Africans were disconnected from their families. Over centuries, what we are left with today is a field of consciousness that is filled with images in the American soul of disconnection from family. The consequence of this means we have groups galore to which we are recruited and asked to belong to. We belong to our grocery club groups, to our gas station groups, to our online membership groups. There is a group every five minutes on the internet we could find to belong to. There is no replacement for knowing where we belong in our ancestral blueprints. So this resource that I find every day when I'm working with people one-on-one -on -one or in groups is a resource within each person in their own soul that's readily available for them to reconnect with their sense of belonging within these blueprints. One of the reasons I felt led to write the book, Ancestral Blueprints, Revealing Invisible Truths in America's Soul, is that through my experience with the constellation work, I began to see more clearly the way in which psychotherapy, while it's a tremendous resource in some ways, it's also um, not a resource for collective healing. So there are many things that are a part of the American landscape, collective traumas, collective wounds through war, through the founding of our country, that we don't have collective resources for these collective wounds. I began to see how when people come into psychotherapy, there's a way in which they're aware of a particular issue in their life that leads them to seek a therapist but therapy is not a replacement for tribe. Therapy is not a replacement for the grandmothers. Therapy is not a replacement for extended family networks. It's not a replacement for medicine people, for shamans, for these lost resources in the larger web. And so um, I began to see in my work individually with people that what happens in the therapy room is often in resonance with a much, much larger web.